Now we're gonna start off with Mia. Her passive, Turbo, got renamed to Moon Blessing. In the older Mia, every basic attack increases her attack speed, and this can be stacked up to 8 times. But in the newer version, she is only going to stack up to 5 times. You can see a little shape on her head in this video. This shows the stack. Once this is full, she will summon a Moonlight Shadow, which is basically her clone every time she uses a basic attack, when that stack is full. Her skill 1, Fishing Shot, has been renamed to Moon Arrow. Just a name change and nothing huge has changed, you can pause the video to see the changes. This time, her attack effects will carry to a second arrow, and that's pretty much it. Her skill 2 changed quite a lot. It also got renamed from Rain of Arrows to Arrow of Eclipse. In the older version, it's literally an arrow rain and damage the enemies and slow them down. But now in the revamped version, when used, it will affect enemies in that skill area and when the arrow hit the ground, it's gonna split into 8 small arrows and it will deal damage and slow down the enemies that got hit with those small arrows. As for our ultimate, there is another name change from Turbo Stealth to Hidden Moonlight. That this time, the duration of Mia in stealth mode will depend on her level as you can see in this pick. The skill effects compared to the non revamped versions are pretty much the same. I get lost inside my thoughts and when I start to think oh the Now, Saber, the first ever hero that gets a legend skin. There is some awesome changes for him according to my opinion. His passive, uh there is nothing changed here, so let's move on to his skill one. The amount of blade changes from 4 to 5, so he got one additional blade. While the swords are spinning around him, when he uses a basic attack on the target, one of his sword is gonna fly to him and hit the target as you can see in this clip. This means if he has enough attack speed, he can use this totally 5 times with 5 additional damage. Every time his spinning sword hits the target, his skill 2 cooldown will drop for 1 second. So the skill 2 cooldown can go down for... 5 seconds if he got enough attack speed. His skill tool got some changes too. First thing is, when he has spinning swords around him and when he uses skill 2, the swords aren't gonna come back to him like his non revamped version. This time, the swords will keep flying around him. A little bit of buff is that the basic attack that he uses after his skill tool will deal some additional damage and also slow the target for one second. His ultimate got a change too. The airborne time of his enemy didn't change, but the amount of damage did change. In the older version, all of his three attacks in the air dealt the same amount of damage, but in the newer revamped version, he will be dealing different amount of damages. The first two damage will be the same amount, but the last attack will deal more than the first two attacks. So this is a bit of a buff. So yeah, this is all the changes for Saber in the revamped version. As of this time I'm recording this video, there is pretty much, not pretty much, there is no changes for Tigreal revamped version in the advanced server. So I am not going to cover him for now. Now, Zilong, the first hero that I solo mid to Grandmaster two years ago. His passive Dragon Flurry changed a bit, so before every 6 seconds he will get Dragon Flurry, the multiple spear attack thingy, but now in the rhythm version, instead of it being 6 seconds, it will be every 3 basic attacks, so I guess you can say it's a small buff for him. His skill 1 sadly got a bit of a nerf, so in the past, the hero that he pulled back will also have their physical defense lowered, but now in the revamped version, the physical defense won't be lowered anymore, it will just be his pull damage and that's it, and nothing much changes after this, so yeah. His skill 2 got a buff though, so this time, instead of just dealing the damage, he will also reduce the enemy's physical defense. Another change is that when he killed an enemy with his skill 2 by diving, 
the cooldown will reset, so it's something like Karina's ultimate, kill the target and the skill got reset. His ultimate also got a buff. Now it will take time standing when he activates it. It will turn on as soon as you click a skill icon. But for the revamp, it's pretty simple. It just increases his movement speed and attack speed and remove the debuff. But now in the revamp version, it is not only gonna do those things, but also change his passive from 3 basic attacks to 2 basic attacks. So his basic attack Dragon Flurry will get activated every 2 basic attacks when he got his ultimate triggered. So this is it for now. These are the 3 heroes that got revamped. Part 2. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like, leave a like. If you like and enjoy and if you want to watch more of these videos, subscribe to my channel. And yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm signing off. Peace.